all right so uh, let's add the submit button and then we'll first validate our form so we already have the data annotations validator but for this particular form there is one problem the problem is our our main model is this quiz save dto it will validate name and category total question time in minutes all these things but apart from these we need to validate questions as well and when we say questions inside this question dto we have options as well so we need to validate these as well so uh, data annotation validator this does not work directly with nested complex objects so what we will do we will validate questions and options um, explicitly okay so what we'll do in this edit form first thing we'll say on valid submit we'll say save quiz async and inside this method the data annotation validations it will be automatically handled by this it will not submit form until the data annotation validations are working the form is valid the main fields are valid and for questions and options we'll have our validation logic in this method save quiz async method okay so here let's create this method we'll say private async task save quiz async now in here first thing we need to verify or let's say check if number of questions which uh, user has added in that field total number of questions does that match with the number of questions we have provided that means these questions uh, quiz dot questions collection so here we'll say if underscore quiz dot total questions is not equals underscore quiz dot questions dot count return from here and just show that error alert somewhere okay right now let's use javascript alert only uh, later in this course we'll uh, maybe create a custom component to display the alerts okay so for now what we'll do we'll simply inject ijs runtime we'll call it js runtime js runtime and here i'm going to create a helper method so private async task show alert async string message and string title something like this right now in this javascript alert method there's no title so we'll kind of mimic this we'll have these two lines here we'll say await js runtime dot invoke void async because this alert does not return anything we'll say alert and then the parameter so for this parameter we'll make it dynamic we'll first have title then we'll have slash n to move to the next line new line and then we'll display message and for this title let's have a default value as alert or maybe error for now because we are mostly going to use it as error alert now if that's this is the case here we'll simply say await show alert async and here we'll say number of questions does not match something like this match with total questions all right if it passed through this after that we will check if uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, what we should validate we should validate if all the questions has text in them right so here we'll say if underscore quiz dot questions dot any
q.text if this is string null or empty string null or white space if that's the case then again we are going to show an alert message here we'll say question text is required something like this after this we will validate the options question all questions should have options so underscore question uh, sorry quiz dot questions dot uh, mm, 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 any q dot options q dot options dot count if it is equals equals zero if there is any question with which we don't have any option so we are not allowing that right so we'll again have this alert here here we'll say mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. options are required for questions something like this now after this uh what i feel maybe we should move all this thing to quit save dt only yeah let's create a validate method there and we'll have all this thing there only let me copy this comment this out here and let's go to quit save dt in here i am going to create a method public bool uh, try validate and here we can say out or maybe we can use tuple here go so here or maybe let's do this let's return error message it should be nullable so we'll say validate do this this time underscore quiz we can directly access this current instance so we'll directly do this mm -hmm. first we're checking if this is the case we'll simply return this error return this message then for second one we'll return this message then for third one we'll return this message and at the very end we'll return null null means there is no error okay so after checking for questions or let's say we need at least two options for each question then only we can uh, give user a choice to uh, select one of the answer right so let's check this q dot option dot count is less than two so here we'll say at least two options are required for question for each question okay then after this we need to check if uh, there is any question which has multiple options but uh, none of the option is selected or marked as correct answer that also we need to a uh, no beforehand so here we'll say questions dot any variable questions dot any here we'll say q dot options dot <laughs> any o dot is correct and we'll negate this if there is no option within any question which does not have is correct set to true here we'll say return and this time error should be uh, all options should have correct answer mark something like this and with this i guess we are good right 
okay now we will use this method on our page so here in this save quiz async what we will do we will say if or not if we will say var error message equals uh, underscore quiz dot validate okay then we will check if not string dot is null or empty this error message that means there was some error we will return from here and we will show that error alert so we will say await show alert async and show this error message and then we can remove all these commented now if it came here that means we are good to save the quiz so here we will say var response equals await and quiz api dot save quiz async underscore quiz then we will check if response dot it success is not true that means we have some error again we will say await show alert async and we will say response dot error message and we will return if that is also not the case that means it was successful everything works worked fine then we can simply maybe navigate to the previous page manage quizzes page so for that we are going to inject navigation manager navigation manager and here we'll say navigation manager dot navigate to and it should be the manage quizzes page so let's see what url we are having there so this is admin slash manage quizzes and we are good all right now let's have a that uh, mm, submit button so at the very end maybe after this we'll have an hr tag and then we are going to have button type submit class btn btn success and here we'll say save quiz let's try it out save everything and let's run it okay api is here ui is here add quiz save quiz these error messages this button will change this button as well right now it does not look that good oh let me move it a bit to the top i hope you guys can see it yeah. all right now when we are doing this we can see this thing is coming let's change this blazer and blazer quiz number of questions let's say five total time in minutes let's say 10 minutes okay save and now we can see error number of questions does not match with total total questions we need to uh, fix this typo but we can see this it says five questions let's do this let's have two questions five minutes save again same thing if i add one more question this time that error should not come the error should be something different if i do this question text is required okay Let's have some question text. Let's say we'll say Blazor, or let's say is Blazor a JavaScript framework? Framework. Let's save quiz. Question text is required. That is for the second one. Let's have some other question. So, does Blazor server uses? Uh, signal r use signal r save quiz 
ऑल ऑप्शन शुड हैव करेंट करेक्ट आंसर मार्क्ड तो ओके दैट इज आल्सो मिसिंग सो देयर शुड बी वन मोर वैलिडेशन द एम्प्टी ऑप्शन शुड नॉट बी देयर ओके राइट नाउ द नंबर ऑफ ऑप्शन शुड वैलिडेट शुड बी वैलिडेटेड एटलीस्ट टू ऑप्शन आर रिक्वायर्ड बट फॉर द empty option validation maybe that is an assignment for you guys so you can try to well add that now here i'll say is blazor a js framework yes and no it for this we will just have a yes and no so no and for this one signal r this also let's say this time no and yes blazor server you signal r yes and with this is active all validations are fine right Let's open the inspector. This developer console window network tab. So we'll see if request went through and everything worked fine or not. So save quiz. There is some error. It says four zero four. If we go and if we check, it says post API slash quizzes. Let's see what is the issue in our API endpoint. Yes, so we have these quiz endpoint API slash quizzes, but we didn't call this map quiz endpoints method. So in program dot cs, we need to call this map quiz endpoints here. After map category endpoints, map quiz endpoints. This was missing. Now I'll have to. add these questions again so i'll simply copy these and stop and rerun so validation passed through it tried to send the api request but api was not there this is a good sign okay add quiz again open inspect element of first add the things so blazor blazor test quiz two questions five minutes this one yes and no yes is the correct answer add question no and yes and no is the correct answer save it and it came back to manage quizzes and we didn't open that inspect element but we know the request went that's why it came back to this manage quizzes page that means that quiz has been saved in the database so saving part is now working we'll see it when we load this saved quiz on manage quizzes page But at least now we are sure that things are working. Uh, let's now try to see if there is any server side error, API side error. Then what would happen? So when I say error, that means if what validations we are having provide question count. Okay, these are already there. Save quiz async. inside this we are just saving there is no error quiz does not exist for edit case okay so maybe for now we are good we'll work on listing these quizzes on manage quiz page and then we'll work on edit functionality then we'll see if edit is also working all right